Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, I'm Stephanie Rose and I'm currently participating in Vlogmas, which is where I vlog every single day from December 1st until the 25th. And if you haven't seen my other Vlogmas videos, definitely go check them out. I have a playlist on my page and this video will be a part of my Vlogmas series. So if you're a regular here, welcome back to Vlogmas and I'm really excited to film this video. I'm filming this at a perfect time because Sephora's fragrance event is back and it's going to be running until December 13th to the 24th and during the event you can get 20% off full size fragrances so this video will be my entire perfume collection I've added a few new fragrances to my collection some of them are old ones that you saw in my last perfume collection video but a lot of them are some new ones that I've added to the collection and since Sephora is having their sale I will link all of my fragrances back to the Sephora website if they're available there if they're not available on Sephora then I'll link it to other websites but yeah this is a really good time to shop for fragrances for yourself or for others fragrances are a really really great gift to give during the holidays to anyone you know fragrances are such a timeless and sentimental and really luxurious gift so I think it would be perfect for anyone on your list so in addition to showing you my entire perfume collection I'm gonna also share my top five most complimented fragrances and that portion will be at the end of the video after I share my collection so stay tuned for my updated perfume collection my recommendations and my most complimented scents the ones that got me smelling the best so if I find a brand of a scent that I really like I will get multiple scents from that brand and so I'll start with kind of those groups and those brands first so the first brand is Maison Margiela and their replica perfumes and I really love these fragrances because you know how certain smells and scents remind you of a time and place like maybe your mom's old perfume when you were growing up or a perfume you wore all throughout college and just certain scents remind you of different memories so Maison Margiela kind of taps into that because on the front of each of their scents they have this little label this one is called by the fireplace I love this one because it really reminds me of being at a ski lodge or being next to a cozy fire it's such a perfect winter scent so this one is actually one of my go-to's at the moment but as you can see here on the bottle it gives the province and the period the time and the place the fragrance description along with the style description so along with by the fireplace I also have on a date which is such a beautiful fruity scent it really reminds me of a vineyard in Italy and the provenance and period is province in 2014 the description is grapes and roses and all of the style descriptions for all of them is memory and a fragrance which essentially is the whole gist of a fragrance right it should all be a memory and then this one I have is beach walk and this one smells like the perfect summer scent it smells like a fresh ocean beach wave I haven't used this one in a few months so I got to refresh my memory but mmm it smells very sweet kind of like coconut it also smells a little bit like salty and just very soothing mmm yeah this is one of my favorite summer scents so yeah that one I have not worn in a while and then the on a date one since it smells like flowers and fruits it's very sweet it really is a perfect spring scent for when the flowers start blooming because it is kind of florally based um, but definitely really sweet as well you can definitely smell the grapes it kind of smells like juice a little bit so the next brand that I have collected scents from is the YSL Libre scents this one is the original I've had this one since my last fragrance video this is a warm floral floral is my favorite type of scent I love anything that smells like flowers but I also like warm kind of like sweet vanilla type scents so this one kind of combines both which is why I really like it it also has notes of lavender and orange blossom and musk so it's kind of like a good mix of like a floral sweet scent Mmm, very luxurious smelling. This one is the Libre Intense. This one smells similar to the original, but as it's in the name, it's a little bit more intense, a little bit more darker, a little bit more muskier, and this one smells a little bit more warmer. It kind of reminds me of a really sweet glass of whiskey and I think this one is a lot more better for the cooler months like fall and the winter time whereas the original YSL Libre might be better for the spring and the summertime so I really like this one I like this a little bit better than the original one and then this one is a newer one I think they just released this a few months ago this one is called absolute platine and again it does smell like the other YSL Libre scents but this one is a little bit more florally it does have the same notes of orange blossom and lavender but this one just 
this smells a little bit more sensual. It smells a little bit more elegant. I think the last two that I just mentioned, this one and then the uh, intense one. I think I like both of these better than the original one. I think a lot of people have mixed reviews and mixed feelings about the original one. I think a lot of people don't like that one. I personally do, but ever since smelling the last two that I, that I just showed, the kind of like spin-offs or whatever you want to call it, I like those a lot better than the original one. So if you have never been a fan of the original one, I definitely recommend checking this one out or the intense one because uh, it kind of smells a little bit better in my opinion. So moving on to the next brand, these are from Skylar Clean Beauty. And just disclaimer, the reason why I have so many from the same brand is because I'm on their PR list, so they send me every fragrance they have. But I love this brand. I've really grown to love their fragrances because they're clean beauty and they smell amazing. They smell so fresh and their fragrances are based on the seasons they come out with so many seasonal scents so this fragrance is actually my everyday scent i'm pretty much halfway done with it if not even more but this one is the vanilla sky scent and i love this one because it is very warm but it smells fresh and clean as well and another thing i love about these fragrances is that the back of the bottles all have a different design based on what the scent is so this one is capri summer and it has, I thought this was an orange or a grapefruit at first, but it looks like waves. Honestly, it could be an orange. What do you guys think that is? Are those waves or is that a grapefruit or an orange? But this one is literally the perfect summer scent. The fragrance family of this one is fresh and the scent type is fresh fruits and citrus with keynotes of bergamot, orange, and neroli. So it's just such a really pretty kind of fruity um, summery scent. Mmm. It smells very sweet though. If you don't like really sweet scents, I wouldn't recommend this. It almost smells like juice or candy, like really sweet, but it does uh, smell really refreshing in the summer. And then this one is called Lime Sands. The back has a bunch of limes. This literally just smells like margaritas, like straight up margaritas, but not in a kind of gross way. It's again, very fruity and fresh. Kind of has like hints of coconut too. So it just smells straight up like limes and coconut and sweet. Yummy margaritas. Oh, Pink Canyon. Before I started using the warm vanilla, this one was my favorite one. That's the back of that. This one is more fresh and kind of florally. Its keynotes are grapefruit and pink salt. I just love that combination. I've never had a scent that had a grapefruit as a scent. And then the last one I have from Skylar is Salt Air. The back of that has, looks like these are beach waves. Okay, so that uh, Capri one might just be uh, the grapefruit, but this one smells really fresh kind of like fresh seawater a really good summer scent really woody as well Driftwood is another note of the fragrance along with sea salt and seaweed So just a very oceany type of scent. I have a lot of really good summer scents So I'm not really using the summer scents right now. I do reserve those for spring and summertime so next I have a few from this brand called Le Mon Gourmand. So these are sold online and I believe they're also sold at Urban Outfitters. These are more affordable. I believe each bottle is around 30-ish dollars. They're a little bit smaller, but I really like the sense of these and I really love the price point. So this one is the original one, the 000. This one smells very, very fresh. I just love anything that smells fresh and clean. Like I do have some that are muskier and like darker, but I just love things that smell light and airy and fresh and clean. This one is definitely a fresh and clean kind of scent. These two are more seasonal, again, summer scents. This one is Clementine Bisu, and then this one is Rum Tropicky. This one smells really sweet too, like a sweet sugary cup of rum and, what do you call it? What's a good rum drink? Like a rum and peach? I don't know, it smells like peaches. Smells like fruit punch a little bit, but like really fresh fruit punch. I think these perfumes would be really good for teenagers or preteens. I think that's why they're sold in Urban Outfitters because that's kind of the demographic of their customers. These remind me of the scents that I used to wear when I was a teenager, the ones I would get from like Limited 2 and stuff. Do you guys remember Limited 2? And then the Clementine one, I love it. Just straight up smells like clementines, like oranges. So I have a couple from Victor and Rolf. The Flower Bomb perfume has been one of my favorites for years, mainly because it's a flower and flora based scent, but this one is a little bit more darker, a little bit more sexier and muskier. This one has notes of vanilla, jasmine, and orange blossom, so it's a warm floral scent. I do like my florals, but I think I like warm florals the best. It has kind of notes of patchouli, 
You can definitely smell the vanilla and it's just very fresh. This is one of my favorites and this might actually be included in one of my top five most complimented fragrances. So more on that later. And then this one is the Good Fortune scent. I absolutely am so in love with the bottle. This is one of my favorite packaging of any branded a perfume. It really reminds me of a fortune teller, kind of like a what do you call it, like a genie in the bottle or in the glass type of look to it. It's beautiful. I love the cap. This beautiful purple amethyst. This is another warm floral. I'm reading the notes on Sephora's website so that I don't get it wrong, but the key notes are fennel, flower extract, jasmine, super infusion, and bourbon vanilla. So this one is a little bit more darker. It has that kind of bourbon, like whiskey flavor in there. But the main base I can really smell is vanilla. So I think we're starting to see in pattern in the type of fragrances that I like, the warm floral vanilla based ones. This is also a refillable perfume bottle. I actually did not know that until right now when I'm reading the website. But yeah, the bottle, it has a powerful amethyst stone. That's actually my birthstone. It's to help connect you to your spiritual self. So maybe that's why I love this so much because this is my birthstone. Okay, so this scent is the only one I have from Dolce & Gabbana. It's actually called The Only One, so I didn't even plan that out. It's a part of the floral fragrance family, and its keynotes are violet, bergamot, coffee, iris, vanilla, and patchouli. So definitely got a trend with the perfumes that I like. This one is just so sweet, but very florally too. I love this as a daytime scent. I have a couple of the Prada Paradox perfumes. This one is another most commonly worn one. Another warm floral with keynotes of Neroli Bud, White Amber, and White Musk. I really love White Musk and White Amber. I feel like those type of scents are really fresh floral smelling. So this one really captures the essence of Amber. It is a really nice fall scent. That's why I was using this so much in the fall. It's really intense. So I like this as a nighttime scent. Kind of smells a little bit sweet and spicy at the same time. Mm, I love this. Very sexy and kind of dark and mysterious. This is the only Dior perfume I have. I've had this one for a while now. I think it's been like two or three years. I'm um, about halfway done with this one. I'm trying to like treasure and hold on to this because I love the Blooming Bouquet scent so much. And Dior's fragrances I think are one of my favorites in terms of bottle design as well. I'm really big on bottle designs. I love the bottles that just look so beautiful and so pretty. This one is just so girly and feminine and this is the perfect spring scent. I wear this every spring and that's pretty much the only time I wear this scent which is why it's lasted so long but this literally is straight florals. There's nothing warm about it. It's very floral and very fresh. Its key notes are Damascus Rose, Peony, and White Musk. I love Peony also. This is the only fragrance that I have from Maison France. Francis Kirk Dijon. This is the ever so famous Baccarat Rouge 540. This is such a staple, I feel like, in your luxury perfume collection. This is the staple. This is one of the most popular scents around the world. This is also another one of my most complimented scents. So even though I'm going to say them all at the end, I guess I'll just say them all throughout the video now. I'll do a roundup later at the end of the video. This is the definition of timeless, luxury, classic, sophisticated. This just reminds me of going to a debutante ball or going to the Met Gala or going to some fancy event that I can't afford. The keynotes are jasmine, saffron, cedarwood, and amber. It's luxurious, it's sophisticated, it lays on your skin like an amber floral and woody breeze. And there's just so much history with this brand and with this scent. That's why it's just such a timeless classic scent that can be used for years. So this is exclusively a night scent for me or a fancy event scent for me. I try to save it for special occasions. I really have not used that much, but I've had this for about a year now. And like I said, I reserve it for like date nights or weddings or, you know, just big, nice, fancy events or for nighttime. We have another summer scent that I use religiously when I was on vacation in Antigua and also in the summertime. It's from Sol de Janeiro. It's Chirosa 62. So they do have the body mist of this scent and the perfume I think is based off the body scents I think everyone knows how popular their body scents are. Those are other scents that I am obsessed with I have almost all of their body mist as well, but this one is a little bit more luxurious This is sweet. It's warm. It smells like the beach. It smells like sweet fresh sand It's just the perfect summer scent. This is a newer fragrance. I picked up. This is called Born Dreamer, and this is made by Charlie D'Amelio, the big TikToker of the D'Amelio sisters. This actually became to be one of my go-to scents in the past few months. I got this maybe back in September, three months ago. 
this is a really clean and fresh scent again I think this would be good for teenagers and I think that is her demographic with this and this is on the more affordable side this one is $48 this is a fruity floral scent and that's why I love it so much because I love my florals but especially when it's mixed in with either a warm vanilla or a fruity scent its top notes are pear and orange zest middle are jasmine petals and pink sugar its base is cashmere woods, skin musks, ambroxan, and cedar wood. So a little bit musky too. But this is a good day scent. I've been wearing this in the day. I will say though, this doesn't last as long as my more luxury brand perfumes, but the scent is just really good. I'd say it lasts about two to three hours. I have one scent from Carolina Herrera, the iconic stiletto perfume. Again, love the packaging. This is one of my favorites in terms of packaging. This is the Good Girl Supreme. It is a warm floral, and I love to wear this at nighttime. Such a sexy scent. I love this for date night or any type of night event. I mean, you can tell by the shape of the bottle, this scent is all about seduction and sexiness and mysteriousness. It's very succulent and potent. It has notes of jasmine and berries, tonka bean. That's another note that I really like. It's very creamy and just very smooth. Next is another more new one. I got this a few months ago and it's my first Mugler fragrance the angel elixir and the iconic star shaped bottle so this one is more warm and spicy which is not normally what i go for but this does have some notes of florals like jasmine so it's very woody like cedar wood it's very edgy and bold and sensuous it does have a little bit of vanilla in it and just very woodsy so a very nice winter scent i think i got a couple more ysl ones that are non-libre this is the black opium which is i think super iconic and very popular and this one is you know what i'm not going to try to pronounce this because i will just butcher it but this one is an accord figu rose scent this one is unisex it's a very musky and florally scent so i love to use this it's definitely very uh woodsy and more fruity and florally according to the ysl website this is a YSL union between masculine and feminine in a fragrance, a silky touch of luscious, delicate notes of a creamy fig, and sparkling black currant are enhanced by radiant rose, signing this composition with a green floral twist. So I love that it's unisex, and I love that it combines both masculine and feminine scents. It's definitely very beautiful if you like more feminine scents, but it does have that fig and kind of more muskier scent to it, so it's still just very beautiful. The iconic black opium is warm and spicy has notes of coffee vanilla and florals this is another really seductive intoxicating scent that is perfect for date night or nighttime even though it's warm and spicy i really like it because it does have so much floral notes in it too i smell so amazing right now because every time i talk about one of these fragrances i spray it on me i have one from killian this is angel's share i call this my bottle of whiskey fragrance because it literally looks like that and i think that's what they were trying to capture with the bottle such a beautiful crystal bottle i think the bottle is what sold me because i'll be honest i'm not really a fan of the scent this is very very spicy and warm and sweet but it's just a little bit too whiskey for me it's keynote are cognac tonka bean and oak wood it's warm and sweet gourmands, and this basically just captures the essence of a cognac, and it's derived from the liquor to lend it a natural caramel color. So it kind of smells like liquor to me, which is why I don't like it, but I just keep it because the bottle is so beautiful. I really tried to love this a couple years ago. Like, I actually used it a few times and, you know, really kind of liked it a little bit, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't get used to it. I know Killian has a lot more other scents, so I think I'm going to purchase another Killian fragrance soon. Maybe one that's more warm and floral. Burberry Her. This is the only Burberry scent that I have. This was such a favorite of mine when I first got it. It's a fruity floral scent with notes of berries, jasmine, and amber musk. It's the perfect blend of berries and fruits and florals, so that's why I love it. Oh, this smells so feminine. Like, just straight up girly feminine. Such a good, I think, year-round scent. I would totally wear this, definitely in the spring, but I would wear it year-round. It would be a really nice everyday scent. If you want a work fragrance, because I know people like to try to find work fragrances, I think this is a really good option. I have one from Byredo. I'm a really big fan of the Byredo brand. I have a couple other products from them, but this is the only perfume I have, and it's Mojave Ghost. This is very woody and aromatic. Top notes are Ambrette, Jamaican, Nesberry, Middle is violet and sandalwood, magnolia. Its base is chantilly musk, crisp amber, and cedarwood. So a very musky and woody smell. But it just smells so luxurious. There's something about it that just smells 
really good because usually I don't like the musky scents but it does have the notes of amber as well and I think it's the magnolia and the violet is what I really like about it so this is the last fragrance of my collection this is the only fragrance that I own from Versace this is the Dylan turquoise and this was my go-to scent a couple summers ago it literally smells like a beautiful turquoise ocean I have a lot of ocean based scents I just realized but this one I think out of all the summer scents is the most luxurious because it's Versace after all it is a floral based scent it's top notes are mandarin lemon pink pepper middle is black currant jasmine petals freesia guava Ooh, the freesia and the guava is why i really like this mm, this smells straight up like out of a catalog you know those catalogs that we used to have from macy's and we would open it up and like spread the perfume all over us like out of a page of the magazine it smelled like that the fragrance story says escape toward faraway islands where the blue sky meets crystal water is a very crystally scent yeah the sea breeze caresses your skin waking up your senses and regenerating your soul dylan turquoise is a fragrance reminding you of warm sun and summer days so i love this scent for summer okay guys so that's all for my collection so now like i said earlier i will now share my top five most complimented scents these are the scents that people come up to me and ask what i'm wearing these are the scents that when people come over they come to my perfume collection and they spray themselves with it these are my top scents that you need if you want people to just think you smell like a goddess first and foremost i have to mention baccarat rouge like i said this is just such a timeless perfume this is a scent that can last for decades and ages and no matter what age you are you'll just smell like pure luxury with this scent so i have definitely gotten a lot of compliments on this scent my second one is flower bomb this i used to actually wear it to the office when i used to work uh, a nine to five and i would have people in my office building and my co-workers ask me what i was wearing and i would say girl i'm wearing a flower bomb my next most complimented is the ysl intense so i'll just say this i didn't really get you know as many compliments or questions about where my perfume was when I used to wear the original Libre, but once I started using this a lot more, I would have people ask me randomly, oh, you smell good, like what is that? And I would say, oh, it's Libre, but the new one, not the older one. So definitely, like I said, if you don't like the original Libre, check this one out because this one smells so much better. My next most complimented one is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This is just such a beautiful scent. Like I could understand why I get compliments because it literally smells so beautiful. It reminds me of like Marie Antoinette, even though I know she didn't smell good. They didn't smell good back in that area, but just, just, you know, I mean the way they looked like they looked really beautiful and luxurious and, and fancy. And they were always wearing flower print stuff. So that's what I mean. But yeah, this just reminds me of a beautiful Parisian afternoon in the garden. And yeah, that's why I get a lot of compliments because it just smells very fresh and beautiful. Okay. So I know I said I was going to do five, but I have to mention two more. So this is going to be a top six most complimented scents. And then I'll just say the last two together, the Prada Paradox and the Burberry Her. So Burberry Her, I wasn't going to say this one in my top five. I was actually gonna say Prada Paradox and end with that but then I just realized I do get so many compliments on the Burberry Her because it's just such another really timeless and girly and feminine scent very beautiful a lot of women you know ask me what I'm wearing because it's just such a really fresh and clean scent too it's not too strong it's not too overbearing and the Prada Paradox I mean it's Prada we love Prada Prada is another very timeless and classy brand and they always make really good scents Prada Candy is another really good one that I know is very popular so I honestly think any fragrance by Prada would just be a really good complimented scent okay guys so that is all for this video you guys saw my collection and you also saw my most complimented scents so everything is gonna be linked in my description and I will link the majority of these to the for a website so if you decide to purchase you can save 20% the code is just fragrance 20 you can use that when you check out online or if you buy in store you can just mention the sale or mention the code and they'll apply it but a few of these aren't available on Sephora's website so if they're not I will link them to other websites but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like things like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications I always talk about beauty and fashion and fragrance on my channel so if you like content like this don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.